hello guys i'm very excited to show you how to install this brand new model mobius on your local system and then generate very high quality images just from text prompts all local all private and the best thing about this model is that the size of the model is quite low you can even play it on 8 gb of vram or 16 gb of vram before i show you how to get it installed let me give a huge shout out to Mast Computes who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I will show you shortly for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable price, I will drop the link to their website in video description plus I am also going to put a coupon which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted offering from them. Now coming back to this model Mobius. First up, the name Mobius, it's amazing. Mobius, I believe, is inspired by the Mobius strip, which is a mathematical concept representing a loop with a single surface and no boundaries. Primarily, it symbolizes infinity, unity, and continuity. Maybe in this context, name Mobius of the model is implying a model that can generate diverse and boundless content. Now, coming to this model, Mobius is a diffusion model that pushes the boundaries of domain agnostic debiasing and representation align realignment. First up, what is diffusion model? Diffusion model is a type of model that generates images by gradually refining and transforming a random noise into realistic output, similar to how a diffusion process spreads particles in a medium. In image generation, diffusion models iteratively refine an image, adding details and structure until the final output is produced. So, Mobius is a diffusion model that pushes the boundaries of domain agnostic debiasing. Let's see what exactly is meant by this domain agnostic debiasing. So, Corsal, which is a company behind it, it has created this model and when we say domain agnostic debiasing, it means that it is a technique which is primarily an innovative approach to remove biases inherent in diffusion models without limiting their ability to generalize across diverse domains. Traditional debiasing methods often focus on specific domains or styles, resulting in models that struggle to adapt to new or unseen contexts. In contrast, domain agnostic debiasing ensures that the model remains unbiased while maintaining its versatility and adaptability. The key to domain agnostic debiasing lies in the constructive deconstruction framework. This framework allows for fine grained reworking of biases and representation without the need for pre training from scratch. I'm not going to go into the technical detail of how this uh, debiasing has been implemented but looks really cool and mobius has already shown a lot of outperformance on existing state-of-the-art diffusion models in various areas including unbiased generation exceptional generalization and efficient fine tuning so let's go to our local system and then get it installed as I mentioned earlier, this VM, which is in Ubuntu 22.04, and then this NVIDIA card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, is very generously sponsored by Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. Another thing I would highly suggest is that you install Conda, which keeps everything nice, simple, and separate from our local environment. So let me quickly create the Conda environment for this Mobius. I'm just going to create environment with this command with python 3.11 should not take too long that is almost done and now let's activate that mobius environment and that you should see in the parentheses on the left let's clear the screen let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch transformer accelerate and also diffusers let's wait for it to finish if you are doing it first time, then it might take around 3 to 4 minutes. So just be patient with it, please. All the prerequisites are installed. Let me clear the screen and then let me fire up my Python interpreter 
and uh, some people are asking me to use vs code and stuff i like this way of doing through interpreter but look you can just get all of these commands you can put them in vs code ed editor and use it from there it's the same thing but um, the way i do it is first i prefer this way i like it secondly is it's easier to explain line by line because i am just doing this tutorial videos but of course if i would be doing it in production environment or i just want to do the batch stuff i'll put it in a dot py file in python file maybe open in any editor of choice and do it from there i hope that makes, makes sense okay so let's import these libraries which we have just installed including torch and few functions from diffusers you can ignore this warning this is just telling us about some deprecated ones let's load the vae component now here you see that i'm just basically uh, downloading this encoder so let's wait for it and we need this vn encoder of course and let's configure the diffusion pipeline with the model mobius you see that i am specifying the mobius model here let me press enter and it is going to download the model on our local system and there are few tensors which it needs to download and the size is around 10.3 gig or so uh, but total would be around 15 gig i would say give and take so make sure that you have that much space present on your system and the download speed is really good today so hopefully it shouldn't take too long almost there and while this happens let me just throw a bit more light on this vae so vae is a variational auto encoder it is an auto encoder that is a type of neural network that learns to compress and reconstruct data like images and uh, so vae is simply uh, learning to represent the input data in a probabilistic latent space and while we were discussing that vae model is downloaded let's also put it to our gpu device which is cuda and that is all loaded there you can see that it has tell, told us it's all the layers and what exactly it has done with the image encoder and stuff okay so that is done let's specify our prompt to which we want to create the image so i'm just calling mystery so let's try to generate a prompt with mystery no negative prompts let's throw that model prompt and some of the image coordinates as what should be the height and width in our image one it is going to to sorry it is going to generate the images let's wait for it it will take too long and you also see that there is an et of five second four three two and then it is going to generate it in 50 steps and that is done and now let's save it so i'm just calling it generated image one and i'm going to put it in our local folder as you can see here so i'm just going to press enter here and let me press enter and then if i go back to that you see there is now generated image let me open it quickly and there you go so this is a mystery how good is that and you can appreciate the quality of the image how i mean the tinted face and all that stuff it is really a mystery look at the, look at the eyes and that sort of stuff amazing amazing stuff okay so that i will remain there let's generate some more images okay so i'm just going to press enter a few times and let me enter the prompt so i have just put in everything here that prompt this time is lonely girl best quality aesthetics hd and then i am generating the image let's wait for it to get generated and it has saved the image so let's go back to our gui so there you go so there is another image let me open it wow amazing stuff look at the expression of the face amazing amazing stuff okay let's generate one more okay let's try out this one in this one i'm asking it drawing room for guests luxury hd best quality comfy expensive let's see what sort of image it generates image is done let's go back here so there you go let's click on it amazing stuff look at that how good is that really luxury comfy really look plush 
amazing stuff so this is it guys i hope that you really are have enjoyed it as much as i did let me know what do you think of the model and they also have put in some of the examples which they have done here as you can see how good is that beautiful model i am very very impressed by this division model one of the best i have seen in this month i will drop the link to its model card in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching